let me show you how to interpret the results post analysis so first i'll show you how to interpret construction stage results so first i'll go to construction stage zero and then i'll go to results forces beginning diagrams and for the construction stage load combinations i will just select summation scroll down check on this legend option over here change its settings to fixed okay and then you can see when i click on apply you can see these are the bending moments which are coming these are the values and this is the contour so this is the hogging mo bending moment coming at the pf cap location then i'll switch over to construction stage one so this is the overall bending moment including the face stress if you want to see just the dead load bending moment i can switch over to dead load see as dead load over here and click on apply this is the dead load bending moment let's see the final stage dead load bending moment so this is the final stage dead load bending moment then uh, same way you can check the y is the transfer shear and set it's going to give me the vertical shear then uh, if you want to see the results you can to take the results in tabular format if you go to result tables beams and forces so you, here you need to specify the beam numbers so let's say if i'm specifying something like 200 to 205 and then i can select the load case say i'm selecting summation for, for all the construction stages i'm checking on this option you can select the part for which part of the beam and then I click on apply so this way these are the results in tabular format and I'll right click on this and close this window next I'm going to show you how to take tendon losses so if you want to see tendon loss you can go to other tables and this option tendon over here and then tendon loss so here you can select first the tendon so say I'm selecting an A1L tendon so stage-wise, you can select CS1, click on apply. So this is the first stage loss. Let me change the units first. Change the units to Newton and mm. So this is a loss after friction and slip. Then this is, this is the creep and shrinkage loss. This is the relaxation loss. If I switch over to the last stage, say CS4, and click on apply. So this is the last stage final loss. So this way you can see the losses increase stressing steel and then I'll close this window also like the bending moment diagram you can go for stress diagrams i'll go to the stresses beam stress diagram and you can select from here let's say i'm going to see summation so construction state summation at the fourth stage final stage i want to see the stresses so you can see at these four points the stresses will be shown top two corners of the girder and the bottom two corners so let's see i'm checking at the bottom of girder the final stage stresses so when i hit on apply so you can see these are the this is the plot so as it is coming down and the value is negative this is compression same way if i just show you the top plot so at point one let us check the stresses click on apply so this is the top stress plot again this is all negative below the line so this is all compression close this so this way you can check the stresses now let me show you how to interpret moving load results so i'll go to post construction and here i'll go to again forces beam and diagrams so here again all these loads are applied after the construction stage so all these are out of construction stage so let me just show you for the 70 hour load case you will get three results mv max mv minimum and mv all mv max will contain all the positive bending moment values when you click on apply so this is all positive bending moment value which is the maximum sagging envelope of bending moment same way mv minimum is going to give minimum bending moment envelope which is going to be the hogging moment envelope same way if you like all, so it's going to be combined max and minimum plot. So this is the final plot or for 70 hours. Same way you'll get the results for class A as well. So say if you want to see uh, the position of vehicle, 
then you can very well go to moving load tracer. Let's say if we want to track for maximum reaction at this PL location. So I can just click here, moving load tracer, go to the reactions, click on this key node, and then select this node. So this is node number one, the bottom of PL. Click here and click on this node. And then we want FZ, maximum reaction. And load case, I'm selecting MV max. Click on apply. So this is the position, giving the maximum value of reaction. So this way you can track down the moving load positions for reactions, for displacements, as well as for bending moments as well. Again, there's an option of writing this load to a text file, which again you can use to bring back this load and apply it as a static load.